Cricket Trivia Thanks to Maccas. Order 111. John Davison represented Victoria and South Australia, but he'll best be remembered for representing Canada at the 2003 World Cup, having been born in British Columbia. The hard-hitting right-hand bat and off-spinner stunned the cricketing world with an incredible display of sustained clean hitting against the West Indies. That's another one. Gone away for four, just inside the boundary. This is magnificent batting. Gone for four, he's nowhere near in the vicinity. That's gone for six as well. This is brilliant batting by Davison. He just hammered that over backward point and it's flown off the middle of the bat and gone for yet another six. Down the track, he followed him, he's hit that well and he's gone for another half a dozen runs. It's gone about 83 metres, that one, that's another big blow. Not right out of the middle, but he'll take it. Vasper Drakes is not happy. Well, Davison is happy and a lot of people in the crowd are very happy. At the time, he pulled off the fastest ever World Cup 100, with his century coming off just 67 balls. Will it reach the boundary? Yes, it has! He goes to 100 with the most magnificent six over mid on. Well played, John Davison. Very well played. The crowd has got right behind him. What a shot down the pitch, and he's hit it right in the middle. Chumney knows, he's putting his hands up. Look, he's so wrapped for his teammate. And there he is, what a knock. 67 balls, six sixes, seven fours, and it's become uh, equal to the fourth fastest century in one day international cricket. It was going to take something special to see the back of him enter Vasper Drakes. And it goes over his head, completely misjudges it. He's got it, he's got it. My goodness gracious, I can't believe that he's got it. There was no way he was going to catch that. He came in, the ball was over his head, there was no way he was going to catch it. And he did. When Davison departed, he scored 111 of the 156 runs on the board, with only 22.1 overs bowled. He proved it wasn't a fluke, smashing 75 off 62 against New Zealand. 